All right, I'm here with uh, Jose Conejo Martin. How's it going? All right, how's it going over there? Oh, not bad. I saw, saw this really cool movie. It's called Dominique. Don't know if you heard of it, but it's really good. I heard. I heard some good things about it. <laughs> yeah. So what what brought you into the what brought you into the movie? I don't know how to answer that. I mean, what brought me into the movie? Well, I got casted by by uh, the director Michael Ojeda and producer uh, Jason Gervitz. And they they know that I'm always like like drawn to to these these um dark complex characters. I could I could you know I could I could pull it off and um you know but this time it's a cop but he's a corrupt cop but I you know I just I'm I'm drawn to these to these roles that show the other side of of, of the human spectrum you know that take you there. One of the things I love in this is like the the action and then the the drama and all that. Um, and you said you're kind of drawn to these. What like what is it about you that about these kind of movies that you're drawn to? I don't know because I, I I look at myself like a peaceful guy. You know, I'm always hiking. I'm always at the beach, walking on the sand. I live a peaceful life. You know, it's a, a zen life. But when it's time to play these roles, you know, I could I could get ugly if I want to. You know. And and when it you know we'll, we'll, it's based on the script, so if the script calls for that. That's what I'm going to do. And um, these these directors they 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 know that I could do that, so they reach out to me for that. You know, what's your process as an actor? Like when you're looking at a script, how do you bring it from the script to the character that ends up on screen? Well, first I read it, then you know I start thinking. Well, I think about the character as I'm reading, but then like. It's like, like, for instance, with me and Michael, um, I'm close with Michael. So there's things that I could change and, and he trusts me. So I'm like, look, I'll do it like this. I'll say it like this. It would be better. It would, it would, you know, and then we just, you know, we weigh it out to see if it's, 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 if it's worth it, you know? So what, what are like some acting tools that you've picked up along the way? Like, uh, like what, what's something that you could do? that you're able to do in Dominique that maybe uh, you didn't have the tools to do uh, when you did tax collector. Well, when tax collector, I was, my role was kind of bilingual in this one. It was all Spanish. I didn't speak no English. So now that, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm ready for another all Spanish role. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable with it now. You know, I was kind of nervous a little bit, not, not really because I've been a Spanish speaker my whole life, you know, but you know, but you know, Colombians and, and the Mexican, they have a different accent when they speak. So that was my only concern. But, you know, I think I could play, a, you know, like a Puerto Rican or Central American or, you know, any of these these Latino roles, you know. Have you ever come across a script where like the uh, maybe the script was written in Spanish and like maybe the Spanish is correct, but it's not the proper dialect for the character that you're playing? that maybe you had to uh, point it out. It's like, this is a little off. You might want to change a couple things. Yeah. 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 No, it, it happens. And, and like for this one, Dominique, I had a, a vocal coach like that, that showed me how to like, really like, you know, some of their slangs and how they really speak in Colombia. So, you know, like even that we were going back and forth and uh, making adjustments throughout it, you know, but it's, it's, it's nothing too crazy. It's just little adjustments here and there. Yeah. And I'm also looking at your IMDb. It says the writer and producer on uh, Inside a Sinister Mind. Oh, that's a that's a podcast. Is, is that some is that something you can point us to? Well, it's a it's a podcast. You can listen to it on Spotify. And it's like I'm telling like it's where I'm just like it's all dialogue and it's all sound design. And I'm just telling stories about my life. So I take you on this journey. We just um uh, came out with a season five. So that's 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 what it's about right there. So you said it's dialogue, so it's like a radio play sort of or yes, yes. Oh nice. Okay, and what, what what inspired that? Well, I think that a lot of people know about the journey, my journey, my personal journey, and they wanted to hear this. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna make it cool for them. I'm a I'm a you know, I'm a narrator myself and then I'll sound design it so it's like a movie in your head when you're listening to it. Nice. I'll have to check that out. So you've been in a couple of movies and is there any uh, sort of ambitions you want to do like outside of acting, like maybe get behind the camera or do some editing or anything like that? I mean, eventually, eventually. But right now I, I kind of just want to do a bunch of more roles and, 
And um, I just got back from um, London and I did a shot a movie with a, a director, David Ayer, and uh, it's a Jason Statham movie. Nice. So, you know, I just want to keep on acting right now for, for the moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's, up, what, what's the what's the David Ayer, Jason Statham movie? I, I'm always excited when, when they got new ones coming out. And with you in it, that's going to make it even better. Action movie. It's another action movie. You know, it's just um, another serious role. And um, that's all I could say about it right now. About right. That. So are there any roles that like you're like, oh, I wish something like this would come across. I, I would, would love to play this kind of role. Well, I, I want to do some sci-fi, you know, some Star Wars, something like that. Some, something in that genre. And yeah. That's what I'm like, looking for. And but uh, I guess I guess we'll end with this. Like, uh, what what's a uh, a movie that you like that you could recommend? This like this movie's really good. Not enough people talk about it. Hmm. Man, I just I like a lot of movies. I don't know. I just whatever is new. <laughs> I can pick a couple. <laughs> I'm not yeah, picky. I'm watching them, you know. You know when 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 a while back I would for some reason I would watch the City of Gods over and over and over and over and over. Anybody came over to my house, I would play on the City of Gods. Nice. What what was there about that movie that that drew you in? I mean, just maybe maybe the environment and like, you know, a child growing up in that environment. I think that's what you know. All right. Well, uh, Dominique will be in theaters on digital on demand October 11th. Jose, thanks for joining me. Congratulations on the movie. It's really good and cannot wait to see the sequel and hopefully the trilogy and hopefully the TV series. I just love this movie so much. Blessings.